Insidious, the last key, or Insidious Chapter 4, the last key, is a 2018 supernatural horror film directed by Adam Robitaille and written by Lee Wannell, who returns to write the story. Listen, Lee Wannell returning to write the Insidious stories is really, really fun and really, really good because it shows the connection between all the films you get different writers they want to do their own thing but with lee wanell doing his own thing with this it's fantastic now this is the fourth film in the insidious movies this is actually a sequel to the third film which was a prequel to the first two but in chronological order this is the second in the story that makes sense so it's in cities chapter three and cities the last key and cities and in cities chapter two so hopefully you follow along. It's very difficult for films and horror films to do that, especially horror films. The movie runs for 103 minutes long. It had a budget of $10 million and grossed $167.9 million at, dollars at the box office. Now, we find and the film follows Elise as she investigates a haunting in her childhood home not only that we go deeper and further no pun intended into the story of elise how can you make a film that's not about the lambert family but some other character well focus on the other aspect of what it is this is what happens when the poltergeist movies should have been if you focus on the psychic medium in that movie and if you had a spin-off you gave her her own films like insidious did probably would have been very successful. But where Insidious, the franchise is successful, and like how The Last Key is very successful and still gives you that shock, awe, and horror is because it focuses on a main character. It's 1953. Elise lives in Five Keys, New Mexico with her parents, uh, Audrey and Gerald, and a younger brother, Christian. And Elise and Christian encounter a ghost in their bedroom. And this starts off everything and the demonic spirit and entities. Now, I did forget to mention in my uh, Chapter 3 Insidious review that at the end of that film, the lipstick demon does show up and does show his face. Now, in aspects of how everything goes, the way everything is done is very different. The kind of key face, I mean, listen... The key face demon is very different with the fingernails as a key and the face it's just horrific, weird. But the movie doesn't give that supernatural feel and pushed forwardness of it how it should be. After, I want to say, part two, slightly, maybe part one, the franchise kind of slowed down a little bit with the horror feeling and the horror jump scares. It's more so visions of what your mind sees, how it plays tricks on you. You look in the corner, you see something, and then it's not there. But then the camera pans back, and what you saw in the corner is now behind the character in the movie. That's how the jump scares work, and that's how it started with James Wan in the first Insidious film, but it continues on. The aspect and the story of how the spirit realm of the further is in this and more explored is very very fun not only that the second underlining kind of i want to say story of how everything is 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 okay but then we get the aspect of the true nature of going into elise's family life and how she was as a family person how her family treated her how she got these powers or um these you know astral planes the projections of repressed memories how she can work with them it just works to a point and the interesting thing about this is that it's fun because bruce davison kind of plays um or actually does play her brother so seeing everything happen is really interesting uh lee wanell as specs and angus samson as tucker reprise their roles once again the aspect of lee wanell and angus samson reprising their roles all the time in this was great after the success of all the three insidious films and then you have insidious the last key what could be done what can you do this movie was fun but it could have been done a little bit better the only thing that was fun and good was seeing the backstory of elise of how everything started with her and which is what this is this this fourth film in the franchise is elise's story you think the third movie is but it's not the third movie is just showing what happened three years prior to the lambert hauntings and the demonic possessions and everything that happened with that those characters but this is like 
really, really fun. And then there's a scene where the key face demon kind of puts a key into the throat of one of the characters, and then she's screaming, and then he turns her vocal box off. What? Like, that's so out of this world. The concept is great, and it's really, really fun. And then knowing that this is how everything happens and starts with Elise, of how her childhood home is haunted, and by what entity, it's interesting. And how this connects to the first films, where kind of Elise gets a call as she's awakened by Lorraine Lambert. I mean, listen, what more could you want? It's a fun film. Uh, the horror aspect is not there, but it's good. The only thing that saved it was Lin Shay returning and having uh, Lee Wanell write the movie. The directing was a little bit uh, iffy and good, but certain aspects could have been done a little bit better. For me, Insidious, The Last Key gets two and a half out of five stars. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought about Insidious, The Last Key. Did you like it? Did you not like it? What did you think of it? What did you think about the aspect of the story? And going more in depth with Lin Shay's character, Elisa's backstory, seeing how everything started, the, the demonic possessions, and how everything connects to the first two Insidious films. Did you like and do you like how the movies were in certain order like it's the third film the fourth film and then one two let me know in the comment section below but of all the questions i just asked and be sure you click that subscribe button hit that notification bell for new review videos on my channel i'll see you all in the next review video and thank you for tuning in